they call me Doc. You know, that's a, it's probably one of the best titles I've ever had. So we're standing at attention. It's the day that they're announcing where everybody's going and they got to Private James McLuhan, Southeast Asia, Vietnam. I'm thinking, he's, he must have been wrong. I, he, he's got to be wrong. I'm, I'm staying here. I, I got uh, initiated the very first day. We hit our amb first ambush, had a man die, had a few people to patch up, and I shot a man. That's a lot to digest in your first day of knowing where you're at now and, and what you're gonna be facing. Fourteen, 13 or 14 choppers. Combat assaulted us into the area near the base of Nguyen Hill. Well, it was a hot LZ, which means that the minute that we got there, we were fired upon. I jumped up, I weaved and sprinted through the fire and slid in next to him like I was sliding into second base. And I said, well, you hang on to your M16 because you're going up on my shoulders. So I threw him up fireman style and weaved my way into the, through the crossfire. And just as I get to them, I hear this ungodly explosion. Well, it was an RPG that exploded nearby me and just pelted me from head to foot. I felt it, I mean, the, I felt the sting of it. But with the adrenaline flowing, knowing that here's two guys, let's get going here, we gotta take care of them, what are you gonna do now? About 10 meters away, it's two NVA looking at me just like I'm looking at you. Only they got AK-47s in their, their hands and I, I had given my weapon up in Folger and Aiken. They don't have any weapons either. And I said, gentlemen, follow me. And I turned and I sprinted down that trench line and then I realized this is slowing me up. So I well, got in the, out into the open because I could run faster. And I'm weaving and literally could hear and see the bullets skipping off the ground. They're firing at me. When they did finally get in and I got everybody on, Lieutenant Carrier says to me, get on, Doc. Well, now I'm real. I look down and I've got blood all over me. And then I my thought goes back to being on top of the berm and explosion and feeling the ping and and I realized, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I said, no, I'm not getting on. He said, why not? I said to him, you're gonna need me. I said, well, I'll have to ask my boss. I can remember what he said. He looked at me, he said, what the hell are you still doing here? So I can't tell you the mixed emotions that I had uh, taking my... my personal stuff out of my pack and leaving my men. I, <clears throat> excuse me, I knew I was going to safety, but I was also leaving my men and, and I was a medic. They also shared with me that they had mixed emotions too. They were glad that I was getting out of the field, but they, they didn't want to lose me as their medic. So I was helicoptered in and I became the liaison for AmeriCal Division for the remainder of my tour, which was about five months. <laughs> 